now. The normal is 75, the record is 92, but once again, everybody was warm today, which means the instability, it will be on the high side even as we go through the overnight hours. Showers and thunderstorms along Interstate 30, but they really have not gotten their act together. They were pretty strong over Cass County, but they have since moved out. Other than that, we are relatively dry. No other storms to speak of. Maybe a few sprinkles in our western and deep east Texas counties, but regardless, we are in the middle to upper 70s right now, so it's still warm. Dew points in the 60s and 70s as well, so you walk outside right now if you wanted to, and you will feel how soupy and humid it is. A big culprit why is the fact that we do have these strong winds 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained out of the south. So here is the weather setup. We do have a dry line out to our west, a cold front out to the west as well. That will provide us with enough lift for these showers and thunderstorms to get going a little later on tonight. So let's walk you through future casts because I want you to be in the know on when these storms may impact your area. So through midnight tonight, I think we're OK. We may see a couple of showers here and there. That's about it. But as we get closer to about three o'clock in the morning, we'll be tracking some of these individual cells over the Dallas Fort Worth area as they move into our region. And there you go. This is four o'clock. A line starting to form from Waco to Corsicana to Terrell to Sulphur Springs by five, six o'clock. They're moving through Athens, Mineola and just to the east of Sulphur Springs. And then this entire line moves off to our east. And by the middle part of Wednesday, I think the severe weather threat will be done, which will be all outstanding news for us. Now, as we look at the severe weather outlook, we've got two level threats of severe weather. The marginal threat out for deep east Texas, at least most of it. A slight risk of severe weather does exist for areas to the northwest of that region. And then that enhanced threat is for areas to the north of Interstate 20. It does not include the city of Tyler. Tyler, you guys are in the slight risk, but it does include the city of Longview, and that threat does increase off to our north. So here are those individual threats. All modes of severe weather are possible, including damaging wind gusts, tornadoes, large hail overnight tonight. And if we get enough rain, flash flooding cannot be ruled